Well, hello, my beautiful Libra. Welcome, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia, and welcome to this channel. How are you doing? I really hope you're doing great. Please use your intuition and open your mind to receive the messages that are coming for you for the month of July. And guess what? For what? It's for money, manifestation, career, finances, and beautiful, all the beautiful things you want and need in your life. Yes, indeed. It is an interesting month because it kicks off with full moon in Capricorn. And that energy is about all about success, self-driven success and never taking no for an answer and learning, in fact, actually telling no yourself as well. So which is interesting, right? Now, what we're going to have a look, we have a beginning, middle and end of month. And of course, plenty of decks here to clarify messages and get more in detail information for you, my beautiful souls, right? Beginning. Wow. Two of Cups. Mm -hmm. Temperance. All right. Okay. Chariot. I have to say, these two months, July and August, but this is for months of July, it's very self-driven and career-driven month. Even though there's a lot of people take holidays, especially in Europe and, and I don't know how the rest of the world, but Europe is very popular. And yeah, but still, I have to say a lot of people do change uh, jobs and are looking at the career, how to improve career. Wow, you get so many um, majors. Wow. <clears throat> well, Libra, oh my goodness, you have the Hermit and Lovers. Four of Swords and Ten of Cups and the Fool. Okay. Oh, very interesting, in fact. Well, I'm going to kick off. <laughs> I'm going to kick off, right. You... You can, okay, what you have done some time before is had some thoughts or second thoughts about what you like to do. Perhaps you have some conversations with yourself. Okay, is this what I want? Life is now. Let's make things happen. Let's make, I want to do things that I really, really want. And interestingly, this is definitely a month of um, realizing what are your strengths where you can improve and using the strengths and your qualities for improvement. Look, the Hermit is a little bit kind of concerning because that is very much of a card of focusing how things look. But the lovers, <clears throat> excuse me, in money reading especially, is talking about wanting to take that um, qualities of, oh, I'm good at, let's say, baking cakes. I'm good at um, minding horses or dogs or children, whatever it is. But then you have like a second thoughts, okay? Second thoughts. You really enjoy this activity. There is something that you en entirely enjoy. However, the very important question is, what are you going to do about it? And are you prepared to do this day in, day out? One thing is to have thing, like first of all, I do my own nails, right? But I do for myself only, because that is my hobby. But are you prepared to do this day in, day out? And I am not sure whether this is something that you truly, truly want. But we're going to find out. You are something very good at, but can you turn this in like day-to-day -day business? That is perhaps is a question. That perhaps is that question. Do you have the plan or you just dream or think about it? Okay. Um, okay. Let's see what we have for the beginning of the month. Kippa. Okay. We have the thief. Wealthy man. Wealthy man is around. Wealthy man is around in many, many readings. For this week, uh, when I was doing for 19th to 25th of June, it was everywhere. It was everywhere. And we have privileged lady. Interesting energies, guys. And the last bit of the month. Okay, we got the spare. Hmm, there's some interesting story building here. Okay. Expectation. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Makes sense. Toilet number. Now, <laughs> it is definitely all about work. That is for sure. I have to say, guys, it feels like you feel that you are wishing your life away. 
waiting for those days off, waiting for the holidays, waiting for the break, somehow for the breakthrough. And hence you have been starting to think or you or perhaps you got a long time you've been thinking about, OK, what could I do better? What it is I really enjoy? And that is all well. However, there has not been movement. There hasn't you haven't um, participated in any activities or actions, nothing like that. And I very interestingly, I'm going to say this word because at the beginning of the month, Mars is going Virgo. And perhaps there's this Virgo over analyzing energies is about self negative talk perhaps talking out of of doing something uh talking yourself out of participating and going for it it's interestingly this there's a two chalices here and we have here but there is no movement okay there have been some sort of conversations going on about it yet another conversation it feels like the time is going do you feel okay Perhaps you feel like you are depending on someone. Are you depending on someone's either money, approval, could be family member, okay? Any person, right? Um, with, with positive and negative kind of um, agenda or angle, right? But it feels like there's some sort of, there's a secret behind it or there's something behind it. It's not really clear. Let's go on straight away, clarify. Why do you have this procrastination kind of energy around it's kind of like the same or same or and it feels like you want to have some movement but you feel like either someone is taking your place someone is you are kind of in someone else's shadow that's how it feels here why yeah interestingly it feels like you're literally getting the breadcrumbs or crumbs whatever is getting whatever you feel like you're either you either you feel that you're not worthy or you feel that you're in a position where you are in someone's shadow and you can't get out of it. Let's clarify. Even though you within yourself you have brilliant ideas, you have absolute capability to, to do and achieve things, it feels like mm -mm -mm. no. Thank you. There we are. Okay eventually oh wow hermit comes again yeah what is interesting to see after right oh wow it's an interesting story here what we have here you had some sort of restrictions here and these are external restrictions either someone's blocking you or blocking your success blocking your ideas it could be at work could be at home doesn't matter and it feels like you're trying to find a way out <laughs> interesting the hermit is um he she who shows the way but somehow you haven't found the way out and what this queen of cups is saying you will be have to be smart okay and not emotions run the show however the world at the very end here is suggesting time to turn things around and go with the flow and time to stop the procrastination and it's important to take those first steps because you have the ability you have Things going for you. There's no excuse. What is this about the same or same? Or why is this work? Yeah. It's the money issues. Absolutely. It could be some sort of restrictions. Could be as well that maybe you want some your business. Or let's say this. You want to retire, but you don't have enough funds to do so. Or semi-retire. Maybe perhaps you want a different job, but that means you need to maybe drive longer. So you need maybe a new car. Better this, better that. And that costs money. And there's some sort of it's a great idea. It sounds good on a paper, but, and there is the but, yeah. And that's how it feels. Okay. Advice. Let's have a look at advice. What, how to get out of this? Advice, please, for Libra. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we for me a second. We had the shadow side. And I feel like part is, could be person, could be situation that is holding you back indeed. Could be holding your fears. What if you succeed? What if things don't work out? What if, lots of what ifs. But this is a card as well of perhaps some sort of belief system. So something is holding you back as well. And there's so much going on that, uh, I wouldn't say darkness, but a lot of stuff is holding you back to proceed and to grow. 
what else you need to know what else advice you need to know you it feels like you need to change the circle of friends and people you're around it feels like there's a yes <laughs> ace of cups comes again two aces guys and what interestingly like queen of cups queen of swords is saying do not apologize for who you are stay true to yourself and sometimes like yourself libra you will have like the justice you will have to make quite crucial and quite significant decisions and live by them pleasing someone okay just to keep it quiet uh make someone happy it's nothing happening and i feel like there is something we have three aces guys there is no out way out look universe is giving you the green light listen libra the green light is there and i have to say it's down to you to put some sort of action even little steps to go forward are you ready for the middle of the month wow what are we having well north node goes in in aries right and it's definitely all about self-driven activities and it's definitely going to increase your motivation look hence we have the privileged lady here and give you all but do not do over the board now chariot is definitely coming from the darkness and you boy boy you have been uh to the darkness and back right but you are growing you're definitely growing and what is chariot is saying you're gonna go one way in the top don't forget who is helping you okay perhaps there's a person could be even a couple that is involved uh either with money or support doesn't matter but this card as well is mind over matter um you are prepared for the journey okay you are prepared that it's not going to be perhaps easy but and I feel it here, you might actually be starting to drive or getting a new car, some different route to work or different routes around as well. Now with King of Wands, look, it's it's kind of real boss kind of energies of someone who is very passionate about ideas and things and topics that you perhaps want to pursue. And with the privileged lady, um, well, it is your birthright. Finally, kind of, you know what I have feeling here is things are gonna fall in place. Mm -hmm. things are gonna fall in place and like you will feel yes this is the right time this is the right idea let's go and this is real movement right what it is you need to focus on your mind let's have a look at that regarding your mind and discipline and your movement aha uh -huh. here we go queen of one swords again queen of swords it is back again and Ace of Cups to get back again. I'm behind this Knight of Swords. Guys, this is definitely driving yourself by self-discipline. Um, it's, it's, it's crucial this month for you guys. Absolutely crucial. Be very um, self-disciplined. But allowing yourself enjoying this moment as well. You will have to be quite determined what you want how to achieve it even start with small little steps and how hard might that sound you will have to start to get that first step out right thank you uh-huh okay yeah the, the, the sense of why we have that a sense of you are not good enough or it's not working out why is that kind of clinging or hanging around you're fighting against something you're fighting against perhaps this is some sort of institution and i know with ten of, ten of pentacles here however um i i read together with these cards it feels like you're fighting against time money perhaps your ideas are do not match your family kind of values or your community values and hence you're feeling like hmm, for me to making a lot of money I have to move away either move away from to different type of people uh different area different country or continent even and that's how it feels like it feels like you got to move away from the same or same or the same life that you've been living all the time king of wands what is this passion about i really want to know and practicality what is this about a movement wow this is so interesting hey the ones is it one is about communication things happening fast and this is a card of travel not trouble travel mm -hmm. 
Okay. Okay. You're going to be reaching for some advice for, and I think you're going to be revisiting your maybe notebooks or something, uh, someone's opinion. Perhaps you're talking to some elder person as well uh, regarding this. And it's quite a secret, to be honest. I feel like it. It's not going to be well, um, not everyone's going to well uh, welcome it. Hence, you're doing it perhaps on a quiet. What's going on? Three times Queen of Swords. And this is you. Absolutely. You want to be happy? You got to be like Queen of Swords. Mm -hmm. Not joking. Because everything's going for you. But you got to be very, very sharp in your mind. Very strict. Blunt, perhaps, sometimes. Okay. A bit ballsy. Right. What do we have in the month? We have Judgment and Seven of Cups. Yeah, this is your calling. And as soon as you let go, because judgment is not here to judge you, it's setting you free from despair, setting you free from expectations. And I feel like these expectations that has been ingrained in you from someone else, and you start to believe it's yours, they're not. Because mm -mm. you've been dreaming, you want to have that possibilities, you want to break free, you want to be you, you want to fly, you want to do things the way you want to do. And get away from uh, other people's influence that is very strictly there. And you have so much ideas. You have so much going for you. It's just that little thing called three, Queen of Swords attitude. Right. What are you breaking away from? Mm, okay. Yeah, I do feel it, guys. We have four aces. Um, it's like a house, full house. You're breaking away from... The same or same one. You're breaking away perhaps from old uh, people. You want new people in your life. You want new surroundings. New, everything new. Because the same or same one is just uh, suffocating you. Wow, hermit again. It's like a soul searcher. It is like a soul searcher. You are going to reach the point of uh, happiness. We have the lovers here, Gemini here as well, is the cards of victory. You're going to feel um, your words gonna f will not going to drop on deaf ears. That You're actually going to um, meet a lot of new people, a lot of opportunities, networking, okay? And really follow what is right for you. Don't just say yes to something that sounds good but you're not entirely sure or it's not uh exciting you okay now what are the possibilities that you're dreaming oh oh my goodness well finally high priestess and justice yourself okay you got a plan well that's good well i know that no, it's good to know you have a plan and if you are in spiritual realm or you're working with energies this is your green light this is like yes yes oh yes and with justice is this here now. It's balance is important, the physical and spiritual balance. Okay, you will making some new contracts. You are going to uh, meet new people. However, check your facts, check your balance books, check that thing. That's very important. Okay, but it's good to see you here. You are present indeed, indeed. Now, well, Venus goes in retrograde in Leo at the end of month as well. And it's definitely talking about using those gifts that you have. And as at the end of the month, we're going into Leo season, which is all about strengths and using, utilizing that power that you have, but not, not abusing it though. Uh-huh. Okay. So one thing I got to say is always have a look from other angle as well. However, you could say hangman sometimes is like, oh, are you procrastinating? Here we go again, procrastinating. But don't jump into things for sake of it. Be decisive what you want because this is a star. Uh, we have Aquarius here and it's saying, look, you are the star. You're going to reach the star, but you need to have that prima donna, diva attitude. And what you're going to sow, what are you sowing, what you see, you're going to sow. Correct? <laughs> um, this is a really good time to branch away on your own and having, um doesn't have to be just on your own, but it feels like, yes, you are going to be um self-sufficient in a ways we're breaking free gonna give you the freedom in the near future compromise okay 
Compromise meaning with, with spiritual and physical. You will be making some very interesting and very decisive decisions. Okay, we have the roundabout. So it could go either way. And your, your decisions are going to make a lot of influence there. Do not give your power away. Do not give your voice away. Wow, mountain. Wow, okay, brilliant. We have the fish, which is definitely a card of abundance. Abundance, abundance, abundance. And that is coming. That is there for you. No one needs to go without for you to having it. Now, Mountain is really saying this as well, that there is lots to achieve. There is probably, perhaps there will be a lot of on it, on your way, right, in front of you, some um, obstacles, but you're going to overcome those obstacles for sure. All right, my beautiful souls. Thanks so much for being here. That's all I have for you this month. Enjoy. <laughs> if this feels kind of your place and space, don't be strange. Just subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video.